Hello, welcome. Read the problem, pause the video, try it on your own, and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. Okay, so they say here that they want us to explain how 3 to the 1 fifth squared can be written as the equivalent radical expression. This is the fifth root of 9, so some number times itself 5 times that equals 9. Alright, well, to start this process, you might remember that the law of exponents tells us a to the m, so something to the mth power, to the nth power is equi equivalent to a to the m times n. So for example, if you have 3 squared, and then that whole thing to the 4th power, this would have to equal 3 to the 8th power. Essentially, you have 3 squared 4 times, so it's like saying you have 3 squared times 3 squared twice times 3 squared 3 times times 3 squared 4 times, and that's 2, 4, 6, 8 threes being multiplied, right? This law helps us here because we know that we're going to multiply 1 fifth and 2. And the commutative property tells us of multiplication that we can change the order of multiplication without changing the result. So these two things must be equal. And in your explanation, you can mention that a fifth times two is the same as two times a fifth because of the commutative property of multiplication. And I know in the laws of exponents that I'm going to be multiplying these two exponents. You could say those things. Because then at this point, you could say, well, three to the second power is nine. And that whole thing is being raised to the fifth power. And that means I'm finding the fifth root of nine. To explain this piece right here, you could just state, you don't have to get into the theory of what's happening here, but essentially you could state that anything to the 1 over n power equals the nth root of that base. So in this case, 9 to the 1 fifth is the fifth root of 9. A more, an, an, an example that might be easier to process might be something like 8 to the 1 third. That would be the third root of 8, which is 2, because 2 multiplied three times, not added, but multiplied three times is eight. All right, I hope this helped.